डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ नैनो मेटल्स लेट अस डिस्कस नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ यूर चैप्टर इज साइज डिपेंडेंट प्रॉपर्टीज यू नीड टू स्टडी सम ऑफ द साइज डिपेंडेंट प्रॉपर्टीज हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू डिफर फ्रॉम द बल्क मटेरियल्स विथ स्पेसिफिक एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट प्रॉपर्टी सरफेस एरिया when bulk material is subdivided into nano scale the total volume remains same but collective surface area is enormously increases that is what it is shown in the figure i have shown single three di three dimensional object सब डिवाइडेड टू टू टाइम्स देन एट टाइम्स देन मल्टीपल्स एंड इन नैनो स्केल यू कैन सी दैट द वॉल्यूम टोटल वॉल्यूम रिमेन सेम बट द कलेक्टिव सरफेस एरिया दैट एरिया इज एक्सपोज फॉर मोर अमाउंट ऑफ रिएक्टन्स फॉर द रिएक्शन नैनो मटेरियल्स ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट प्रोपोर्शंस ऑफ एटम्स एग्जिस्टिंग at the surface properties like catalytic activity chemical reactivity gas absorption etc depends on the surface area of the nano particles therefore nano particles can show specific surface related properties that are not observed in bulk material so size dependent properties of nano metals can be elaborated with specific points the first one is increase in the total surface area the second one is increase in the number of atoms that are available for the reaction on the surface third point increase in the catalytic activities of large number of surface atoms fourth point different and tunable surface catalytic properties by the change in the safe size and composition fifth one is hence in the nano scale catalyst can increase the rate of selectivity and efficiency of various chemical reactions for example bulk gold is catalytically inactive but gold particles in the nano scale are catalytically very active for certain redox chemical reactions so this is about the first property that is related to nano particles in the form of surface area now let us discuss second size dependent property that is electrical properties so nano particles exhibit different electronic electrical properties as compared to the bulk properties because the electronic bands in the bulk metals are continuous due to the overlapping of atomic orbitals or the orbitals of billions of atoms but in nano materials very few atoms are present because of size reduction so electric bands becomes very discrete or separate hence some metals which are good conductors in bulk form they become semiconductors and insulators when they have been converted to nano level for example as you know that the graphite is good conductor of electricity but it is not in nano scale carbon nanotubes can act as conductor or semiconductor that is what the allotrope of the graphite so some of the nano particles made of semiconducting metals like germanium silicon and cadmium they are not semiconductors when they have been converted to nano particles so this is about the electrical properties of nanoparticles which is totally size dependent 
let us move to the third size dependent property that is what i can say optical properties a material in the nano scale has a different color than that than that in the bulk property which is due to discrete electronic state the nano particles absorb the light and emit the light at a specific wavelength nano metals in general can have peculiar optical properties when they have been interacted with the light because of they are made to very fine nano structures one of the most fascinating and useful aspects of nano materials they are showing the greater optical properties hence based on the tremendous optical property the nano metals have been used in various applications as a optical detector as a laser sensor imaging phosphor display system in solar cells photocatalysis photoelectrochemistry and biomedicines are the large areas are been used nanoparticles here i explain in the bulk form nano material is in yellow color but when it is made to nano scale you can see the particles are in red color for example gold is shiny yellow noble metal but when it is in nano scale it is in red color here when the particles of gold they are in the 25 nanometer size they reflect the red color when it is subjected for the light or visible but when the size is increased to 50 nanometer it reflects the green color that's what the unexpected visible properties they have been observed by the absorption of visible light by the nanoparticles they show the different scattering property that is totally size dependent now let us discuss now the fourth property of nanoparticles that is catalytic properties as you know that the catalysts are playing an important role in the chemical reactions and also heterogeneous catalysis gaining more importance as compared to the homogeneous catalyst for yield of more number of products in industrial and engineering applications the nano catalysts are having large surface area and active centers the catalytic property of the metals depends on total size of the particles when the metals are converted from bulk to the nano scale the size of the particles reduces surface to the surface area to the volume ratio increases so increase in the catalytic activity so hence nano catalyst increases the selectivity of the reactions by allowing lowering the temperature and reducing the occurrence of side reactions and yielding the major product which is for our requirement hence nano catalysts have been used widely in green green chemistry to resolve the environmental remedies efficient biomass conversion and renewable energy development etc as you know that the green chemistry is the design of chemical products and the processes that reduce or eliminate the use or generation of hazardous substances for example 
nano catalysts gold is non catalytic noble metal but when it is in the nano scale of 2 to 3 nanometer it exhibits excellent catalytic property now last property that is thermal property one more important property of nano scale metals are showing the melting point is directly related to the bond strength the materials in the bulk has high melting point but when they have been converted in the nano scale they are showing low melting point why because the nano materials where the surface atoms are in contact with only few atoms and there is a requirement of less energy to overcome the intermolecular forces hence the melting point of nano metals is very low as compared to the bulk material so here the surface atoms are not bonded in the direction of normal to the surface plane hence the crystalline materials are expected to have low conductivity of thermal when compared to the conventional bulk materials hence the size of nanoparticles decreases surface energy increases <coughs> this decreases the melting point so this is due to the fact of surface atoms requires the low energy for the moment for example 3 nanometer cadmium selenium nanoparticles melts at 700 kelvin to the bulk at 1678 kelvin so this is what about the size dependent properties of nano materials and this part is very much important from the point of your examination thank you